Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. Today, Designing Spaces has some great subjects for just about all of our viewers, even if you're just thinking about buying that first home. Oh, yes. Despite the economy, it is a great time to buy a house. We'll talk to experts on how to take advantage of the buyer's market and get that new residence you've been planning for. Plus, we dress up the bedroom with some of the latest in bed covers and accessories. Oh, and do-it-yourselfers, you definitely want to watch today's show. We have something for you as well. Here on Designing Spaces, we love to roll up our sleeves and upgrade that property, and you'll be surprised at how easy it is. We'll also make a favorite house cleaning chore. Well, not such a chore. Well, wait a minute. Is there such a thing as a favorite house cleaning chore? Okay, well, after you see what's coming up, there will be. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. You know, there's a room in the house you spend hours at a time in. Maybe it's the most overlooked space in your house when you think of interior design. Hmm, would that be the bedroom? Aha, uh -huh, you are correct. No one wants to admit they have a boring bedroom, but we're talking about decor here. Oh, okay. The way it looks. So <laughs> maybe it's time to look at those pillowcases, sheets, wall dressings, and replace them with something more stylish. Think of it more as a wardrobe. Oh, I like that. Wardrobing your bedroom. Sounds good. Well, Michelle Russo has the story. Watch this. Nothing's changed year after year. It reached the point where your bedroom has become a bore. Wait a minute. Before you jump to conclusions, let's make it clear that we're referring to a major part of the bedroom's furnishings. The sheets, spreads, covers, and pillowcases on your bed as one of the most important rooms in your home. Accessorizing your bedroom is an extension of your personal style, and time spent there is important to your health and well-being. Today on Designing Spaces, we're going to take this bed and give it a new look. We're going to make some selections that reflect your taste, depending on your mood and the season. That's right, it's a wardrobe for your bed. And helping me today are Cindy McKenzie, who heads brand management for Springs Global, one of the world's leading home furnishing companies, and Edward Cardamona, who heads creative. Thanks so much to the both of you for adding your expertise. Thank you for having us. It's great to be here. Edward and I, we travel a lot in our jobs, and one of the best parts about traveling is getting to stay in great hotels and going back to a great bed at the end of the day. It's really a sanctuary, and we want to help show you how you can create that same sanctuary in your own home. The so Wamsutta is the perfect brand to start with for our bed makeover. This brand is all about color, quality, and style. I saw building the sanctuary in terms of tones, monotones, Shades of gray, shades of steel blue, shades of white and off-white. Really creating a serene space. And we're going to start that by using the Dream Zone sheet. So the blanket that we've chosen is the pearl blanket. Pearls create the luster in the fiber and also gives that nice sheen after you make the bed. The next step in creating the ultimate sanctuary in your bedroom is the focal point of every bedroom, the duvet. Wamsutta brand, we've designed our duvet covers with some helpful ways to really ease the way that you make your bed. So we've added these hand holds that you insert your hand into. And then what's really key is securing the corner with these ties. Now we'll give it a firm shake. Lay it over the mattress, just covering the mattress just to the top of the bed skirt. And the next step are the finishing touches on the bed. So Cindy, I've removed the headboard and I'd like to use the euros as a padded headboard. What a great idea. It really helps to create some softness. When we first entered this bedroom, it was very dark. In creating the Wamsutta Sanctuary, we removed all the furniture and started to look at the designs of the bedding to inspire the rest of the room. We found these bedside tables actually in the garage and I like the lines and how they reflected the design of the duvet cover. We actually kept the lamp bases, but changed them to a simple, modern lampshade. The framed piece of art over the bed 
is also a very urban touch. I framed it in the same hue as the bedding. Also match the wall paint to the same hue as the bedding and finished the windows with monochromatic draperies. For our next look, we've chosen Spring Me because this brand is all about making it easier for you. I selected this beautifully drawn poppy floral as the comforter. To coordinate with that, and look at this, this really playful polka I dot love that. sheet. Love the contrast. And there are polka dots in the ground of the floral as well. And as a layering piece, this really delightful floral quilt. You know, when I think of Spring Maid, it's like bringing home a fresh bouquet of flowers. It can instantly brighten any room. There are three key innovations about this brand that are going to make your life easier when you're making the bed. The first is the no-show platform on the bed skirt. So what we've done is we've added this extra strip of fabric, and that prevents the white from ever dropping down and showing. The second has to do with the fitted sheet. Don't you hate it when you're trying to put your fitted sheet on and you can't figure out what's the top and what's that the bottom of the bed? Morning. And you're sort of struggling with it? So we have a solution for you. And that is a directional tag that helps you to know where the foot of the bed is. And the third innovation is that the key components of this bed are all reversible. So it really gives you multiple looks out of the same collection. So Cindy, what do you think of our modern spring made sanctuary? I love the way that it came together. It's so fresh and clean and simplistic. Let's use the reverse side of the comforter now to show a completely different look for the same collection. I really love the way that this floral pattern makes the room blossom. We thought we would do a more traditional look this time. We used all the same elements, and we've only added very few. We've added these two shams that coordinate with the comforter. We've turned the horizontal pillows on their edge and stacked them. And we've added an additional set of throw pillows. And I like the way that the reverse on the comforter works back so well to the floral pattern. And you'll see that stripe pattern appear in the deck pillow as well as the flanges. When we first entered this room, it was about clutter. We removed the clutter and began building our sanctuary. For our bedside table, we introduced this rattan basket topped with a simple piece of wood. On the other side of the bed, we introduced a chair beautifully designed and decorated with a deck pillow from the bed. As a finishing touch, we found this exuberant painting of poppies to celebrate the focal point of every bedroom, the comforter. Our last and final look is from the Court of Versailles brand. And this brand is all about creating luxury and drama in the bedroom. That's the first thing I thought when I came into this room, is just how beautiful and how luxurious all the linens are. We like to think it's bringing the runway into the bedroom. Details are really what help to define luxury. The sheets, the tassels, as well as the design on top of bed, all inspired by blue and white chinoiserie porcelain. It's stunning. I mean, the both of you really should give yourselves a huge pat on the back because you made this room into a luxurious retreat. Thank and you. Thank you. Thank we had you. a great time doing it. Oh, it, I mean, it's it was a lot of fun. It was my pleasure, and it's a lot of fun. And, and really, it only makes sense because you spend so much time in your bedroom. Why not make it as comfortable and as beautiful as you possibly can? A sanctuary. And, oh, absolutely. And this is the sheets now that I want to purchase. <laughs> so where would I go to buy the materials that we use today? So the Court of Versailles brand can be found at stores like Bloomingdale's. Spring Made can be found at stores like Target. And Wamsada can be found at stores like Bed Bath & Beyond. If you would like to see this segment of the show again, simply log on to designingspaces.tv. Search Springs Global, click on the video, and you'll find a link for more information. For Designing Spaces, I'm Michelle Russo. Now, that was a great way to end the show because mm -hmm. we have so many folks emerging from the bedroom right about now. They're looking for that first cup of coffee, yep. and they're finding us right here on Designing Spaces. Well, we've got more, but you know what? It's going to have to wait till our next show. All right. I'll take that as a cue to say goodbye. Exactly. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Murray. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.